time complexity the calculation of time complexity for this program suppose we have a main which i is equals to 1 while loop while i is less than is equals to n it will run in which we have two statement i is equals to x is equals to y plus z and i is equals to i plus 2 while close main close so as we know while loop will run one time without checking the condition so it will run for i is equals to 1 and suppose if we take n value 10 suppose we take n value 10 so in while loop it will run up till less than or equals to n so one time it will run for i value 1 and the next it will check the value i is equals to i plus 2 so it will convert into 3 so it will execute for 3 value and the next time it will execute for 5 value the next time it will execute for 7 value and next time it will execute for 9 value and next time what value will come i is equals to i plus 2 11 but it will not execute it will terminate because it will run up till i less than or equals to n and we have taken n value is 10 so it will run up to 5 times 1 2 3 4 5 first time without checking the loop so for 1 then 3 then 5 then 7 then 9 so it will execute 5 times so we have see clearly that if we take an n value 10 so it will execute 5 times so we can say n by 2 so we can say it will run n by 2 times and we have two statement here so for it will run for these two statements so n by 2 into 2 so order of n so what is the time complexity for this order of n in the similar way if we have uh, in this program we have i is equals to i plus 2 and if we have i is equals to 2 into i if we have instead of i is equals to i plus 2 i is equals to 2 into i so as we have seen in our last lecture that whenever 2 into i will come what value we will get we will get log n value base 2 so if we have i is equals to 2 into i then what will the time complexity for this program the time complexity will be order of log n base 2 and uh, for this uh, in detail you can see the last lectures in which I have discussed time complexity. You can go through my playlist and can see those discussions of time complexity. And if we have instead of i is equals to i plus 2, if we have i is equals to i plus 20, then what will the time complexity? Time complexity will be n by 20 here we have n by 2 because i is equals to i plus 2 and if we have i plus 20 then we have n by 20 and for the same two statement into 2 so n by 10 so we can say simply order of n if here instead of i is equals to i plus 2 we have i is equals to i plus 20 then here we can clearly see when i is equals to i plus 2 then it is n by 2 so when i is equals to i plus 20 it will be n by 20 and for two statement into 2 so n by 10 so time complexity will be order of n now let's check another uh, another one in the similar way we have this program in the similar way all the things are same the few things are changing here if we uh, suppose I'll write it here mean i is equals to n y i is equals to greater than equals to 1 and x is equals to y plus z and i is equals to i minus 2 while loop closed mean loop closed this is the program we have so what will the time complexity we have taken uh, suppose we have taken n is equals to 10 suppose we have taken 
n is equals to 10. Uh, so as we know, I mean uh, while loop it will run one time automatically without checking the loop. So first uh, it will run from 10 value. Then the value will be decreasing i is equals to i minus 2. And then next time we will it will run for 8 value then next time it will run for 6 value then 4 value then 2 value and it will run up till i greater than equals to 1 so till 2 value only it will run it will not run for another value so because uh, the next value will be 0 or less than 1 so it will not execute for that one because uh, this is the condition while i is, I is greater than equals to 1 and here every time i is reducing by 2 so after that it will be less than 1 so it will not execute so it will execute we have seen only 5 times if n value is 10 so it will also execute the 5 times so simply n by 2 times so simply n by 2 times and for 2 statements so n by 2 into 2 so simply we can say order of n order of n so whenever i is i is equals to i minus 2 or i plus 2 its uh, time complexity will be order of n or i plus 20 the time complexity will be order of n but if it is i is equals to 2 into i then, then time complexity will be log n so now move to the next i hope it will be clear from here now move to the next this is the second example and this is the third example we have mean where i is equals to 1 while i is less than is equals to n we have x is equals to y plus z i is equals to 2 into i and i is equals to i plus 2 while loop closed main loop closed so from here we we know um, clearly that for this what will the time complexity log n and for this what will the time complexity so simply we can say n or n by 2 from here we are calculating uh, from here we are calculating sorry uh, in the first program we have also seen that when i is equals to i plus 2 then n by 2 i is equals to i minus 2 then also n by 2 and for i is equals to 2 into i we have log n so in the similar way we write here log n n by 2 now cross checking the value suppose we have n is equals to suppose we have n is equals to 1 0 2 4 suppose we have n is equals to 1 0 2 4 so it will execute for i is equals to one value because this is while loop as we know that it will run one time without checking the condition so first it will run for one then in the next what will the value the value two into one two and two plus two four so next time we will get the four it will execute for four value the next time four into two eight and eight plus two 10 the next time 20 2 into 10 20 and 20 plus 2 22 in the similar way we will get 46 in the next time and then we will get 94 and then we will get uh, 190 then we will get 382 and then 766 and then 1000 500 up till we will do and uh, so this uh, and so how much uh, how many time it will execute uh, we stop at 1500 because it is uh, greater than 1024 so we stop here so how many time it execute it execute uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 or we can say simply 10 got it is executed uh, um, without seeing the condition so we can say it is executed 10 times uh, 
1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 for this value because this is the maximum value so it is stop here so we can say simply sorry 9 10 less than equals to n it will run so it will not execute for this it will execute 9 10 so if we see from here for 1 0 2 4 we have two things here log n and n by 2 so for log n and for n by 2 so if we do n by 2 then what value we will get if we as we have taken n is equals to 1 0 2 4 so if we do n by 2 then what value we will get we will get 512 but if we do log of that value then what value we will get we will get 10 value from log n we will get 10 value and for, for n by 2 from n by 2 we will get 510 value for 512 value so which is uh, nearer to nearer to that value that value because how much time it will execute 9 time for that value because i is less than n so it will execute 9 time here it will terminate so it will execute 9 time so this value is nearer 9 10 is nearer to 9 as compared to 512 we can see clearly so whatever value is nearer that that will be the time complexity because we have two things here so the time complexity the time complexity will be order of log n based so we can simply see from here the execution if we have taken n is equals to 1024 value so when it will run up till i is less than is equals to n so it will execute till 9 time here it will not execute it will break so from these two things we already know that this uh, when i is equals to into i then we have log n and when i is equals to i plus 2 then we have n by 2 so from here also if we do these two things so we can clearly see if we do 1024 log uh, log for this value then we will get 10 and for n by 2 we will get 512 so the 10 value is nearer to that 9 value so this will be the time complexity order of log n for this program for this program